Hi, and welcome to the 57th Hammer Tutorial part of Tutorial Fest. So, today we're going to be making a multi toggleable button. And basically, what that is, it can be used in however you want. It's going to be one button that will fire seven, actually six, different commands. And every time you press it, it will cycle through. So now. First, I just have combine in the back. First thing you're going to want to do is just make a button. So a brush and then funk button. I'm just going to have mine do a little cheesy effect where the model will get depressed. And set animation. Boom. Okay. So, the first thing that you need to do after your button is created, is create a logic relay. And my OCD makes them be lined up perfectly. You're going to need oops, going to need to name it something. So, going to call mine button Toggle one. There we go. And now you want to edit, copy, and edit, paste special. And you want five copies and make paste identities have unique names. Now, what that will do is it will create five copies and they will all have a different name, which is the joys of the paste special. And I just like to put them all in a row. So I know what I'm doing here. Alright. And now, for all of them but the first one, under flags, you want... I mean, under start disabled, you want yes. And now, you want, on the button, add, on pressed, button, toggle one, trigger. And you want to copy and paste this and have it trigger all of the entities, I mean all of the logic relays at the exact same time. 12 of 6. Okay, and now for the first logic re relay, we need to add the button, the command that will make it cycle through all the other ones. So we want to do add on trigger, we want it to disable itself, and we want it to enable next one so basically how this works is it disables itself and enables the next one in line so it just basically cycles through at a time and it just keeps looping to here disable and when you get to the last one, you want to disable the last one and go back and enable the first one. Okay. Now, you can add commands onto the logic relays and they'll trigger in order. So for this, it's going to be set animation, model, crouch on. And boom. Now you just all your inputs and you'll be good to go apply I'm gonna compile this then I'll see you in the counter strikes okay here we are in counter strike now we have all the police all lined up ready to do their thing the first one goes sneaky second one goes sneaky and they'll just they'll go sneaky in the line how I told them to go so I hope this tutorial was helpful on making a multi toggle button thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>